Hello, boys and girls. Tony P. Coming at you from the basement. La Casa de Perla de Hacienda. The Queen's upstairs resting. This weekend was her birthday. Had a big to-do with the family. I was the main chef. We have a Blackstone griddle, and I was doing stuff. It came out pretty good. Not too bad. Uh, just a quick video on some idle thoughts from an idle mind, some thrift store finds, which you know, up to this point has been pretty slim, and a nice pickup, a, a tip that was given to me by fellow YouTuber and VC member Glenn Calloway, uh, the guy from up there in Canada. Uh, so let's get to it. Now, I know I, I have to do this quick because I lose people in the first two minutes. So stick around for a minute, just a minute, okay? And if you like what you see, come on, subscribe. What the heck? You can't lose anything. It doesn't cost you anything. Uh, first thing, uh, recently there's been a lot of stuff about, you know, cleaning records. And, and everybody's been listening uh, to people who have the humming guru. I, I don't have one. I have no plans to buy one. I cannot afford one. I think they're in the three $400 range. They, I have nothing against them. I just can't afford them. So I took a leap and bought something else, uh, something within my price range. Melinda Murphy talked about it. Um, uh, there was a couple other at Rob. Oh, I can't remember his channel. I just went crazy. I'll put it in the notes below there. Uh, I forgot about it. But his video convinced me to purchase this, and it's it's the vinyl vac. And and don't, 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 don't turn me off just yet. Just, just, just listen to me for a second. Uh, I don't know what your thoughts are, good or bad or indifferent. I am not a spokesperson for them. They did not give me this free. I purchased this. Uh, I um, tell you that it worked wonderfully, wonderfully. Uh, he and I are having discussions, Ron, from uh, um, the Vinyl Vac about the uh, O-rings, and I added this little do that to it and for some reason the ones we've been finding out in the shelves just don't quite fit and I don't know why this one fits if you know anything about it you're supposed to put the o-rings in there put it over your vinyl over your vacuum cleaner and it make, creates a seal this makes a perfect seal and I don't know why this is different from any other one I bought in the store and this was from my little plumber's junk bin that I have at the house but I think this is like 40 bucks but you have to have a wet dry vac uh, he recommends one. I bought one. He recommends, I think it was like $35. Uh, and I had a Lazy Susan. Uh, one of those things you put stuff on, like sugar and creamer and stuff. And you could spin it around. The circle. I use that. Or you can use an old turntable if you have it. But I had I got great results with it. Very happy with it. Uh, I got the deluxe set, which gives you the uh, um, the cleaner with it. But I use my own concoction that you can find anywhere on the internet. But try it. It's 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 a it's a nice cheaper alternative. I I liked it. You don't have to like it. It's okay. I am not paid and whatever. Secondly, I was online a couple of weeks ago, maybe two weeks, uh, and Glenn Calloway came on late at night um, and live and he was talking and he said he was uh, looking for the box set of uh, Bob Dylan's uh, Fragments. And he found a set, uh, I think this one's volume 17 uh, of Fragments, uh, by, through Amazon for $27. I said, I can't believe it. He said, yeah, yeah, I did. So he showed me the picture of the box. I heard of it. And I did get it. And it's it's a uh, five record CDs. There's two wonderful books that come with it. Um, and this is the, based on the Time Out of Mind sessions, beautiful book. Uh, as you can see, I'm not doing a review. I'm just going to go real quick, but uh, really nice stuff. Bob Dylan done, rather, done really, really well. I don't know too much of the history of it. This is the, the five CD set. I got to listen to the first two or three before I had to go cook. So, but this is the five, five CD set. 
and it's done really, really well. So I do not know if it's still there at $27. I think they raised it back to something like $90 or 80 some dollars, but that was volume 17. And this of course is called the Out of Mind uh, Sessions, 1996 to 97, uh, Columbia, Columbia Stereo. So there you have it. Great, great find, great buy. Thanks, Glenn Calloway, for, for doing that. If you're not a friend of Gal, uh, Glenn Calloway, he does the same thing I do. He's in the basement. I'm in the basement. Uh, old guys, I guess that's where our man caves are. I don't know. But what's really nice is I'm thrifting, uh, looking around for some things, and I got some good stuff. I just want to show you real quick good things. The first one we got was Evangeline. This is, of course, Amy Lou Harris. Great album. Now, now, all these records are in extremely good shape. I would go out and give them VG+, plus, if not on some of them near mint. This is a great album. Uh, she uh, she has, there's Dolly Parton on there. Uh, li uh, Linda Ronstadt's on her, of course. James Taylor, Ricky Skaggs, Graham Parsons, James Taylor. If you find it, or if you don't, it's really, really great. I love this. She does Bad Moon Rising by John Fogarty. Evangeline was written by Robbie Robertson. Great song. Love it. Um, she's also on there with uh, Rodney Crow, Ashes by Now. Good stuff. If you find it, get it. Let me put that down here. Another one. Uh, classic Gordon Lightfoot. Uh, this is, is it volume two? This is volume two, I think. Yes, volume two. Uh, volume one was not with it, but this is definitely Gordon Life with the Last Time I Saw Her, Walls, Rosanna, um, Home from the Forest, If I Could, Something Very Special, Long Way Back Home, A Fair on 8th Avenue, Ballad of Yarmouth Castle. Good stuff. I think this is from 19... This is 71, I think. I don't know. Close enough. Gordon Lightfoot. Big fan of Gordon Lightfoot. Love him. Love him. To all my Canadian friends. Uh, this is Nicolette Larson. Now, I, I got into this, to listening to Nicolette Larson uh, because she was a good friend of Linda Ronsett. A lot of her stuff uh, has her in background vocals. Uh, these two are the first two albums of hers. I have Radio Land, which I think is, is probably her best album. But this is Just in the Nick of Time, Daddy Let Me Go, Love, Bra Breaking Too Many Hearts, Trouble, Isn't Always Love, Dancing Jones, Back in My Arms, Fallen, Rio de Janeiro, Blue. Good stuff. Nicole Larson in the Nick of Time. Uh, passed away way too early. Uh, brain Edema, I think she had. Uh, died way too young. This is... This is the second. I think that was the second album. This is the third up, or vice versa. Or versa visa, whichever comes first. Uh, this is uh, just Nicolette. Uh, lovely young lady. Uh, she does uh, a lot of love. That's with Neil Young on here. She has... Uh, uh, who else is on here with her? Uh, Billy and Fran Payne. Uh, let's see here. Of course, the usual suspects. We're on here. Linda Ronstadt's on here. Uh, and so on. Again, if you like that country, a little bit of country vibe, a little bit of pop stuff, you'd love Nicolette Larson. Let's see who else I have down here. Another Gordon Lightfoot. Uh, this is Endless Wire. You can see what the price was. 99 cents. Endless Wire. Good stuff. Love Gordon Lightfoot. Uh, couldn't leave him behind. 99 cents. Come on. Uh, J.D. Souther. Now, if if you don't know Jay-Z, J.D. Souther, John David Souther, he was the um, boyfriend of Linda Ronstadt. He looks very sad there. Uh, this album is just called John David Souther, J.D. Okay, excellent album. Couldn't leave it behind. 99 cents. Uh, now, I have a copy of this. This came from uh, one of my previous copies was from Three Dimensions of Music, Greg. Uh, I found another copy. You can't, 99 cents. And it's in good condition. You can't leave it. You just can't. 
Uh, this is, of course, Jefferson Starship, Red Octopus. It's a good album. You know, I know it, you, know, you guys are probably familiar uh, if you believe in magic. Uh, miracles. Do you believe in magic? That's the line from it. Uh, miracles. Uh, sweeter than honey, fast buck, Freddy. <laughs> uh, tumbling, I can want to see another world. Uh, there will be love. Good album. You know, Grace Slick's still on here. Marty Ballin's still on here. David Freiberg. Uh, so, uh, Paul Cantner's still on here. So, if you see it, pick it up. But uh, that's another album. Kids couldn't leave it behind. 99 cents. It's hard to. Uh, Poco. Now, you know, I am a big fan of Poco. Uh, the uh, very much eagle sound uh, on here. Um, uh, Jim Messina, I believe, is on this album. This one's called Blue and Gray. Um, not a bad album. And it's the Poco sound. Um, if you ever like Poco, please, please pick that up if you like them. I like Poco. Uh, Joe South's Greatest Hits Volume 1. I don't know if there was ever a 2. Uh, you guys might know him if you're my age. Uh, games people play now. Every night and every day now. Never meaning what to say now. Never saying what they mean. Whoa. Huh? I will, I'm sorry. I won't do that again. But that's Joe South. Okay. I, I still think he's performing. Um, another J.D. Souther. This is called The Black Rose. Um, again, 1976 on the Letra. Records were all in great, great, great shape. Can't complain. Again, 99 cents. This was Janice Ian Between the Lines. This is fantastic. Now, uh, this has the song At 17. Uh, wonderful. Wonderful. Janice Ian. Again, back in my day, popular. Um, Emmy Lou Harris and the Hot Band. Now, the Hot Band, uh, she needed to get a band to back her up. Uh, and she got some guys together, and they were to be called the Hot Band. And I don't think they, I don't think they materialized too much. But the Hot Band. But it's an Emmy Lou Harris. Now I haven't listened to this one quite yet, so I can't really tell you if, if it's good or not. But hey, again, 99 cents, Emmy Lou Harris. Um, Danny O'Keefe, very folk. Uh, I am not familiar with him at all. This is uh, 1972. If, if you know Dan O'Keefe, let me know what you think of him. I don't know anything about the album. It's very, very country folky kind of music um, I know that Howard Speed McNatty is on here whoever he is so God bless America so Eddie, Danny O'Keefe looked interesting 99 cents can't leave it behind another Poco album uh, the that Cinnamon Cinnamon Rose I think is the name of this I'll tell you in a sec. Rose of Cimarron. Rose of Cimarron. Yes, that's nice and sleep. Rose of Cimarron. I think that was the big song on this one. Again, I did not play this all the way through. So I don't know. I think the only guy that's on here is... Um, Rusty, 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 Rusty Young, I think is the is the guy who's still from the original Poco, Rusty Young. So um, again, ninety nine cents. I'm not leaving it. It's in great shape. The album cover is in excellent condition. Um, I, I haven't had a lot of success finding stuff. So, you know, I'm bringing it home with me, 99 cents. Hey, there you have it. A couple more and I'll be done here. God, I'm 14 minutes. That's too much. My last two. Now, you know I wasn't going to leave these behind. Linda Ronstadt, probably my favorite album 
Hasten Down the Wind song from uh, Warren Zevon. Beautiful, beautiful album. Pristine, quiet as all get out. And it's hard to find one really quiet. Uh, and in good shape as this one. This is from 1976 also. Y'all, they seem to be hovering around it, the 70s here. And of course, her award winning A Heart Like a Wheel. 99 cents. I ain't passing it up. So there you have it. Um, leave a comment. Tell me what you think. Uh, if, you, if you like the video, you know, please like and subscribe. Tony P. coming at you from the basement. God bless you. May all your records be flat. May your stylus run true. Ciao.